Hi everyone, welcome to the series called RBI 247. I am Tanvi Kaur, your mentor for finance current affairs. So in this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with today's session, I have two pieces of information for you all. One is that, as you all know that exams are around the corner and the RBI's exam dates are out, so we have launched a crash course for you all. It will help you prepare for both phase 1 as well as phase 2 of RBI grade B exam. So you can get enrolled in this very course. It is being offered at a major discounted price. So it will provide you all the necessary PDFs, video sessions and all sorts of mocks and all. So you can get enrolled in this very course to ace your preparation. Moreover, to help you better prepare for your examinations, we have launched our new application. So this is going to be a better application providing you all the important updates about the exams. All the live video sessions will be available over there. All the necessary quizzes and all such stuff will be there. So you can download this very app from the Play Store. And uh, one more thing, if you want the free PDF of this session, then please join our Telegram group. The link is in the description below. We upload all the free PDFs on Telegram channel as well as the group. So, you will get these free PDFs. Uh, often you all ask through the comments that where is the PDF. So, please join that very group for the PDFs. Now, let's start with the very first question. That says, what does it refer to? So, we have two statements and we have to identify the concept over there. So, we have to two statements. The first one says, it involves reducing dollar's dominance in global markets. So, we all know that dollar is the global currency, one of the most dominant currencies of the world. And this very concept talks about reducing its dominance. So, dollar ki agar mein baat karu, dollar bohat sari transactions ke liye use kiya jata hai for paying uh, for various types of trade, imports, exports, all so sorts of oil trades, other commodity trades are done in terms of dollar. Countries are keeping the forex reserves in terms of dollar. So, this process is to reduce the dollar's dominance by substituting it with some other currency. Okay. So, dollar ko kisi or cheese se substitute karna ya uski dominance kam karna is process ko kya kehte hai? We call this process de dollarization. The answer to this question is option B. Now, from the very topic of this session, you would have known that this is going to be the answer. But uh, after discussing about de dollarization, main thing which arises is that why are we talking about this? Abhi de dollarization ki baat iti zada kyo chal rahi hai? You all are aware about Russia being banned from the SWIFT payment system where uh, SWIFT is a messaging system which sends the financial messages to facilitate the cross-border payments. So, Russia ko jab se ban kiya gaya hai, so Russia ke certain banks ko ban kiya gaya hai SWIFT payment system se. From then onwards, there has been a push towards de-dollarization. Although China, Russia, they were already working a lot on de-dollarization, but SWIFT ban se ek aur isko boost mila hai or jaldi hone ka ye process of de-dollarization. So let's discuss a bit more about why de-dollarization and why is dollar the dominant currency and uh, why uh, we want it to get substituted with other currencies, what benefits it's going to bring. So jo sanctions imposed ki gai Russia pe, SWIFT se ban kiya gaya, isne de-dollarization ko further trigger kar diya hai. Since 2014, Russia was already working on de-dollarization, but now this thing has been triggered even further. Now, it's not just that it's the first time that US, because of uh, the say of US, SWIFT um, access is being banned in Russian states. Okay, aisa pehli baar nahi hai, US time to time countries pe sanctions lagata rehta hai. If US feels that, okay, they, this very country is not adhering to its policy decision, it's uh, objective which ha it has in mind, then it often imposes sanctions. So, kab tak ye chalta rahega US ki uh, dominance, dollar ko ki wajay se jo US ke paas power hai, wo kab tak world economies ko dominate karta rahega? Kab tak wo restrictions lagata rahega? Kab tak wo sanctions lagata rahega? We need to take certain power from the hands of the US economy. Okay, so that's why this de-dollarization is being focused right now. Okay, dollar pe jitni high dependence hai jo 
यूएस को इतना ज्यादा और स्ट्रॉन्ग बना रहे हैं वो अगर चली जाएगी देन ऑब्वियसली अदर करेंसीज विल ऑल्सो सी अ बूस्ट इन देयर वैल्यू एंड दे विल ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर वेरियस ट्रांजेक्शन बट इससे पहले अगर हम बात करें कि यूएस इतना डोमिनेंट यूएस डॉलर इतनी डोमिनेंट करेंसी इतनी प्रोमिनेंट करेंसी क्यों है सो देर आर ट्रेसेस बैक इन दी ब्रिटेन वुड्स सिस्टम सो वन ब्रिटेन वुड्स सिस्टम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस वॉट हैपन एट दैट टाइम ऑल द करेंसीज दे व पेड टू यू एस डॉलर एंड यू एस डॉलर वॉर फर्दर पेड टू गोल्ड सो तब से ही डॉलर एक डोमिनेंट करेंसी बना हुआ है देन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज a lot of trade of oil is happening from saudi arabia so at that time it was decided that all this trade which is happening the payments would be made in terms of dollars so isse aur zyada boost mila dollars ko thirdly us economy is so strong okay and that is supporting the value of dollars and we are seeing its value at a record high level vis-a-vis -vis other currencies next is that most of the reserves which central banks are having foreign exchange reserves they are in terms of dollar अब आपको पता है सेंट्रल बैंक्स जो है वो फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व्स रखते हैं नाउ देयर फॉरेक्स रिजर्व्स कैन बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ सम फॉरेन करेंसी इन टर्म्स ऑफ गोल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एस सो इसमें जो ये फॉरेन करेंसी असेट्स हैं मेजर प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ वेरियस सेंट्रल बैंक्स इंक्लूडिंग दैट ऑफ इंडिया इज हेल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर डॉलर को सबसे ज्यादा रिस्क फ्री असेट मानते हैं रिस्क फ्री करेंसी मानते हैं एक सेफ करेंसी ऑप्शन माना जाता है विच इज Trade, traded all around the world, which and all the trade which is happening worldwide is happening in terms of dollars. So that's the reason why central banks are holding more of the dollars in their reserves. Now, if this uh, does not remain a prominent currency, if the power is taken from the U.S. dollar, then obviously the central banks reserves are going to see a fall in their value. जिस वजह से भी इतनी जल्दी डी डॉलराइजेशन के लिए कोई कंट्री मान नहीं रही क्योंकि सारे ही उनके फॉरेक्स रिजर्व्स डॉलर के टर्म्स में है अगर डॉलर की वैल्यू कम होने लगेगी देयर रिजर्व्स व्हिच दे हैव बिल्ड ओवर द इयर्स दैट इट्स वैल्यू विल फॉल इट सो इट विल हैव एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन देयर बैलेंस शीट्स एज वेल ओके इसके अलावा सेवेंटी ग्लोबल ट्रेड जो हो रहा है दैट इज कंडक्टेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर वर्ल्ड लोन्स विच आर गिवन देर आर डिफरेंट डेवलपमेंट बैंक विच आर देयर दी एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक वर्ल्ड बैंक सो मेजर लोन्स विच दे आर ग्रांटिंग टू द कंट्रीज दे आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर मोर ओवर फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडिंग विच इज हैपनिंग नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ दैट इज डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर ये सारे रीजन है कि डॉलर इतनी प्रोमिनेंट करेंसी बना हुआ है जब आपनी सारी करेंसीज इनिशियली पेग ही डॉलर से थी सारा ट्रेड डॉलर के टर्म्स में हो रहा है सब रिजर्व डॉलर के टर्म्स में हेल्ड है सारे लोन्स डॉलर के टर्म में दिए जा रहे हैं ऑब्वियसली इट इज गोइंग टू बिकम अ स्ट्रॉगर करेंसी राइट सो ये रीजन है यूएस डॉलर को एक प्रोमिनेंट करेंसी होने का नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस डी डॉलराइजेशन की जब इसको सब्सटीट्यूट कर दिया जाएगा ओके वी हैव बीन यूजिंग इट फॉर trading we have been buying the us dollars to build up the forex reserves for various trade agreements dollar are used various assets which the countries have they are in terms of dollars so iski dominance ko kam karna that is de dollarization now why should the nations go for de dollarization jo dominant role chalta aa raha hai dollar ka usko kam karne ke liye and to make sure that us is not having a lot of influence on other economies de dollarization is important काफी टाइम हो चुका है कि यूएस अलग अलग नेशंस पे सैंक्शंस लगाता आ रहा है रिस्ट्रिक्ट इट्स इम्पोजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शंस एंड इट इज डूइंग सो एज अ फॉरेन पॉलिसी गोल सो वी नीड टू टेक दैट पावर फ्रॉम द हैंड्स ऑफ यूएस द डी डॉलराइजेशन इज ड्रिवन बाय द डिजायर टू इंसुलेट द सेंट्रल बैंक फ्रॉम जियो पोलिटिकल रिस्क वेयर द स्टेटस ऑफ द यूएस डॉलर एज अ रिजर्व करेंसी कैन बी यूज एज एन ऑफेंसिव वेपन सो यूएस अपने डॉलर को और स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाता जा रहा है जिसके थ्रू इट इज इंफ्लुएंसिंग लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज टू फॉलो इट्स इंस्ट्रक्शन अदरवाइज इट्स गोइंग टू इम्पोज सैंक्शन सो टू टेक दैट पावर फ्रॉम यूएस टू प्रोवाइड मोर ऑटोनोमी टू दीज सेंट्रल बैंक वर्ल्ड वाइड सो दैट दे कैन मेक पॉलिसी फॉर देयर ओन बेनिफिट दिस डी डॉलराइजेशन प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल अब रशिया पे इतनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन लग रही है अगर रशिया पे इतनी ज्यादा यूएस की इन्फ्लुएंस ना होती मे बी इट कैन बी थ्रू दैविंग दी फॉर एक्स रिजर्व इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर इट कैन बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग दी एक्सेस टू स्विफ्ट सिस्टम जिसपे भी यूएस कंट्री के वजह से स्विफ्ट पे बैन लग गया सो अगर ये सब ना होता डॉलर इतना डॉमिनेट ना होता तो दीज काइंड ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन वुड नॉट हैव बीन इम्पोज ऑन रशिया ऑल दो 
some might think that us is doing right by imposing such restrictions on russia because russia is invading ukraine but there can be other instances as well where us might impose restrictions where it is not beneficial for the country uh, of interest okay so ab main baat karu ki kya mechanisms follow kiye ja sakte hain de dollarization ke liye or if i have to frame the question once again what can be done so that the influence of us gets reduced and countries like russia could have फाउंड अ बेटर ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑफ मेकिंग द पेमेंट्स अब रशिया का इतना एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट होता था बिकॉज इट हैज बीन बैंड फ्रॉम स्विफ्ट इट इज नॉट एबल टू कंडक्ट इट्स ट्रेड जो ऑयल एक्सपोर्ट्स वो करता था दे हैव बीन रिड्यूस टू अ ग्रेटर एक्सटेंट बिकॉज द पेमेंट मेकेनिजम हैव बीन बैंड सो सम ऑल्टरनेटिव आर नीडेड टू डी डॉलराइज एंड प्रोवाइड मोर पावर टू दीज कंट्रीज सो डॉलर पे रिलायंस कम करने के लिए क्या क्या किया जा सकता है One thing is to do some bilateral agreements like rupee rial agreement or rupee ruble agreement. If you remember, Iran was also banned from the SWIFT system earlier, but India wanted to do trade with uh, Iran. Okay, the import it wanted to import certain products like say oil from Iran, and for that they need to make the payments. But if the SWIFT system is not allowed, there will be a difficulty in making the payment. So in that case, a rupee rial agreement was. decided upon and now in case of russia a rupee ruble agreement can be done okay although on certain aspects the on or on certain export and import the rupee ruble agreement is being followed but ye hai kya ek bar main bata deti hu take an example where india is importing say crude oil from russia now india has to make payments to russia it can make the payments in terms of dollars but now when it is being banned from the swift and it wants to de dollarize so it cannot rely on dollars for making the payment ab wo swift system ka use nahi kar sakta dollar ke terms mein payment karne ke liye india ko so what is the alternative the alternative is a rupee ruble agreement so here what will happen here suppose an indian oil company is importing crude oil from russia so it will make payments to russia in terms of rupee with a इंडियन अकाउंट ऑफ अ रशियन बैंक सो रशिया की कोई पब्लिक सेक्टर कंपनी रशिया पब्लिक सेक्टर ऑयल कंपनी विल ओपन अ अकाउंट इन इंडिया बैंक ओके इंडिया के किसी पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक से पी एन बी और एस बी आई में रशिया की गवर्नमेंट कंपनी एक अकाउंट खोलेगी सो नाउ वेन इंडिया इज इम्पोर्टिंग क्रूड ऑयल फ्रॉम दैट कंपनी इट्स गोइंग टू मेक पेमेंट्स इन द इंडियन अकाउंट ऑफ दैट कंपनी ओके अब इस अकाउंट में रुपी के टर्म्स में पेमेंट कर दी इम्पोर्ट्स की इंडिया इज इम्पोर्टिंग दी क्रूड ऑयल सो इट्स मेकिंग पेमेंट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ रुपी सो दिस बैंक अकाउंट हैज रुपी नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट इंडिया इज इम्पोर्टिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम रशिया रशिया विल आल्सो इम्पोर्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया अब रशिया हो सकता है मेडिसिन इम्पोर्ट कर रहा है इंडिया से वीट इम्पोर्ट कर रहा है या कुछ भी इम्पोर्ट कर रहा है सो फॉर दैट दे हैव टू मेक द पेमेंट्स टू द इंडियन एक्सपोर्टर्स सो दे विल यूज दिस रुपी टू मेक दी payments to the indian exporters so this is a rupee real a rupee ruble agreement but there is one issue because of which now india is thinking to rely on yuan so yahan problem kya hai suppose 100 rupee ka export uh, kiya russia company ne indian company ko so india has imported rupee 100 worth of goods so 100 rupees yahan pe india ke account pe aake this this is just a hypothetical example छोटी वैल्यू मैंने आपको इजीली समझाने के लिए ली है बट सपोज इंडिया इज एक्सपोर्टिंग समथिंग टू रशिया व्हिच इज वर्थ सेवेंटी रुपीज और वर्थ फिफ्टी रुपीज सो यहाँ थर्टी रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा है अकाउंट में ओके दिस इज अ स्मॉल वैल्यू थिंक ऑफ अ मोर लार्जर सिचुएशन मोर लार्जर वैल्यू ट्रांजेक्शन जब ये मिलियंस ऑफ अमाउंट में ट्रांजेक्शन हो रहे हैं देन रशिया विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रुपीज बट दिस रुपी डज नॉट हैव मच ऑफ द कन्वर्टेबिलिटी You cannot use this rupee to trade worldwide. अब सारे जो major transactions worldwide होते हैं they are done in terms of dollar. So you are buying or selling something to one country or the other. The things are happening in terms of dollar. No one is willing to buy the rupee. So what will Russia do of this excess rupee? So in that case, it is now thinking to rely on yuan because after dollar, yuan is also one such currency which Uh, can have a lot of acceptance worldwide. Yuan be a uh, China economy की वजह से एक डॉम अच्छी करेंसी बन सकता है. So it's also there as a part of the SDR's basket. So why not do the transaction in terms of yuan? 
so they are thinking that okay the russian banks will send sell this rupee to the chinese banks in india chinese banks to have a rupee kharid ke yuan de denge and the yuan can be used for making transactions and because there are no restrictions on of swift in china so china can then sell those rupees and get dollars in return so ye process follow karne ki baat ki ja rahi hai filhal so let's see what the decision uh, what kind of a decision gets implemented so first mechanism to do de dollarize is to follow such bilateral agreements second is to project loans in terms of currency other than dollars ab alag alag countries jo hai ek dusre ko loans deti hai alag alag development banks hai they are major banks which are lending loans so rather than relying on dollars they should provide such loans in other currency like china can provide in terms of yuan and so the other countries ye second mechanism hai de dollarization ka ki dollar ka usage kam hoga थर्ड इज टू प्रोमोट नॉन स्विफ्ट मैसेजिंग सिस्टम अब स्विफ्ट से यूएस बैन करा देता है कंट्रीज को लाइक इट डिड विद ईरान लाइक इट डिड विद रशिया राइट नाउ सो वाई नॉट कम अप विद सम ऑल्टरनेटिव फाइनेंशियल मैसेजिंग सिस्टम सो अगर मैं बात करूँ रशिया की अगर मैं बात करूँ चाइना की दे हैव देयर ओन सिस्टम बट दे आर नॉट येट दैट डोमिनेंट अभी सारे बैंक्स ने वर्ल्ड वाइड उन्हें एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया है दैट्स वाई देर इज अ नीड टू प्रमोट देम टू मेक श्योर दैट दे यूज सच फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम एंड स्विच फ्रॉम स्विफ्ट ओके एक ही सिस्टम को डोमिनेंट ना बनाया जाए सो दीज आर फ्यू मेकेनिजम्स फॉर डी डॉलराइजेशन Now talking about some steps that have been taken so far. So Russia ne, China ने काफी steps लिए हैं de-dollarization की तरफ. One is that they have introduced their own messaging system like Russia's SPFS, China's CIPS. So ये इनके payment systems हैं. They can collaborate together and make themselves more dominant than relying on SWIFT. Secondly, Russia has been taking a, a lot of steps related to de-dollarization since 2014. तब Uh, because Russia tried to annex Crimea, there were a lot of sanctions imposed on Russia. So since then, Russia has been working towards de-dollarization. Other than that, Russia has reduced the assets which it has in terms of dollars by about sixteen percent. It has reduced the trade which it does in terms of dollars. So, वो dollar का use कम करके trade कर रहा है. Like in case of India, it's making payment in rupee by opening an account in India. then its exports to brics they are also not in terms major portion of that is not in terms of dollar agar main china ki baat karu it's promoting its digital currency it's setting the renminbi trading centers and this ongoing ukraine russia war has triggered this de-dollarization even further now talking about what is india scenario in this regard so india wants to take the benefit of say importing the things at a low cost india relies a lot on russia for its imports um, uh, because there has been a huge drop in the demand of the russia's oil because of this ukraine thing russia is now offering to india the um, that india can import the oil from them at a discount ab india me already we are seeing the crude oil prices rising the petroleum diesel prices rising so india wants to procure oil at a lower cost so russia is offering them the discounted rates but india has to find an alternative to make the payment so is wajah se jaise humne discuss kiya ruble uh, rupee agreement then relying on chinese yuan this is the alternative option which india is working upon okay so india ne kafi agreements kiye hue hain and more recently india and russia are considering using chinese yuan as the reference currency taki payments ki ja sake oil rate ki India still wants to do trade with Russia so it is finding various payment alternatives so this was all of it which i wanted to discuss now coming to second question ye bhi in isi topic se related hai so the question says that which of the following steps can be undertaken to help with de-dollarization so we have just discussed that what is de-dollarization so what uh and what steps can be taken so three measures humne discuss kiye one is to do the bilateral agreement so this is correct one was to shift to non swift payment system this is also correct third was to project loans in terms of some other currency yahan kya likha hai ki loans dollars ke terms mein diye jaye aur dollars ko trade agreements ke liye use kiya jaye no it will make dollar more dominant we don't want this and third is to peg currencies to dollar no it will again make dollar more dominant so first and fourth are the steps which can be taken so answer is option b i hope aapko ye pura concept samajh aa gaya ho thoda sa complex tha and i have tried to simplify it as much as possible for you all now let's come to third question that says who has the responsibility 
of coordinating the efforts of all credit institutions in the allotted district to increase the flow of credit to agriculture, to small scale industry, to other economic activities in priority sector in rural and semi-urban areas. So, a lot of steps are taken to ensure financial inclusion. Zada se zada financial services low income logo tak bhi pot sake rural areas, semi-rural areas, semi-urban areas, aisi jagao pe credit facilities, financial services pot sake, especially the services reach to the agriculture sector, to the small scale sector or other priority sectors. A lot of steps are being taken from RBI's end, from various banks end. So, aisa kaun sa bank hai jisko ye responsibility di jati hai ki wo sari credit institutions, sare banks to ek district mein located hai, unko uh, ek tarah se saath mein work karne ke liye encourage kare, unki responsibility le aur make sure kare ki wo sari hi institutions work kar rahe hai priority sector ko financial services pahunchane mein. So, some bank has to take the responsibility to coordinate the efforts of all institutions, all banks which are there in a particular district to make sure that these uh, credit institutions are actually working towards making sure that all the financial services reach to these priority sectors. So, jo bank ye sari responsibility lega ek district ki aur sabke efforts coordinate karega, use hum kehte hai lead bank. So, answer is option D. Usually, it is some kind of a bank which has a large network of branches in rural areas, a lot of manpower, a lot of financial resources. Who is assigned this responsibility? So, ek jaga ka, ek district ka koi bada sa bank jiske paas bohat se log financial power hai, usko lead bank ki responsibility assign kar di jati hai. Aur wo us district ki sari responsibility leta hai ki wo financial infusion ensure karega. So, why I am discussing about lead bank right now? That is because a bank has been appointed as the lead bank for the new district of Meghalaya. So, Meghalaya ka ek naya district bana hai and PNB, the Punjab, the Punjab National Bank has been assigned the responsibility of acting as the lead bank of that district. So, pehle jo uh, district tha, Western Khasi Hills, uska ek naya district bana hai by demarcating it called the Eastern Western Khasi Hills, jaha ka PNB ko lead bank banaya gaya hai. Alright, so there is no change in the lead bank responsibilities of the previously existing district or other districts of Meghalaya. Only for this newly formed districts, district PNB has been appointed as the lead bank. So, ye ek chota sa topic tha jo mene discuss karna tha. Now, moving on to last question and last topic of the day. Which of the following is correct? So, let's read one by one these statements. First is that SEBI has the power to cancel the license of a bank when it fails to comply with Banking Regulation Act provisions. RBI ke paas license issue karne ki power hai and if the banks are not adhering to the Banking Regulation Act provisions, then RBI has the power to cancel the license. So, this is incorrect. Second is that, consequent to the cancellation of its license, the banks are prohibited from conducting business of banking. Obviously, jab bank ka license cancel ho jayega, to bank deposits accept nahi kar sakta, repay nahi kar sakta, banking business nahi kar sakta. So, this statement is correct. Third statement, on liquidation of a bank, every depositor is going to receive deposit insurance up to 7 lakh from DICGC. No, 5 lakh tak ka amount DICGC insure karta hai, which it is going to pay in case bank liquidates. So, only B statement is correct. So, answer is option B. Now, why I am discussing this? Because RBI has recently cancelled the license of one of the banks of Uttar Pradesh. So, UP may, Kanpur may bank hai, People's Cooperative Bank Limited and RBI has cancelled its license. So, now as its license has been cancelled, it cannot carry on the banking business. Ab RBI ne inka license kyu cancel kiya? Because they were not having enough capital, they were not having good earnings, they were not following the Banking Regulation Act provisions. If this bank continues to function, then it will hamper the uh, interest of depositors, it will not be able to repay the depositors in full. So, if this bank function karta rahega, to ye ek adverse effect karega people pe, uh, depositors pe. So, that's why RBI has cancelled its license and up to 5 lakh amount which is insured will be received by the depositors by DICGC. So, this was all for today's session. I hope all the concepts are clear and this session was useful for you all. With this, I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.